I'm going to start by taking this stippling sponge. It is a very textured sponge that is going to create this kind of, yeah, well, stipply texture on my skin. I'm just using that with a brown eyeshadow to create a lot of texture, kind of make it look like dirt or something just foresty. And I'm going to carry that all the way down onto my neck. And then I'm going to take a skin colored eyeshadow, something that is slightly darker than my natural skin color. And I'm going to start creating this really diagonal, heavy eyeshadow shape. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that brown eyeshadow and just deepen this up, especially on the outer corners, and make sure to make this really intense and extreme. And I'm blending this all the way into my temples. So then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, again, pretty heavily. And then I'm taking that same brown eyeshadow again, and I'm going to contour down my nose, a very heavy contour. And I'm going to make it a very sharp one as well, end it in a point at the tip of my nose. So then I'm going to take a angled eyeliner brush and some black eyeshadow and I'm going to make kind of elongated pointed nostrils. So I'm just going from my nostril upwards into a kind of triangle shape to create that. Alright, so moving on I'm going to take some black eyeshadow again, same brush, same eyeshadow and just line the outer half of my upper lash line. And then I'm going to flick this out into quite a large wing on the side as well. And afterwards I'm going to create a little flick on the inside as well and create this kind of diagonal cat eye shape. Alright, so time for the appliques. I'm going to use just some lash glue to glue various pieces of tree bark and uh, moss onto my face. I just bought this in a kind of decoration store. These items are light enough for lash glue to hold, so you won't need anything else for this, as long as your bark is light enough. So just hold it down, and I'm going to stick one beautiful big piece on the center of my forehead, and then kind of um, adorn that with moss on either side. You're just gonna have to experiment a little bit with the pieces that you have. You can cut them into shape, but it's prettier if you would just work with the natural shapes and kind of figure out where they look nice on your face. So I am just applying some more moss down my neck to make it kind of integrate with the rest of my body. I later applied some moss on my hand as well. Just to make the whole look tied together. Alright, so then I took an eyeshadow brush again and some brown and black eyeshadow mixed together and I'm going to go around all everything I've applied onto my face and make it kind of look like a shadow, kind of like dirt, kind of just make it mix into the rest of the look a little bit better and make it less like I've just stuck it onto my face. So I'm going around all the edges and then it's time to work on the lips. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer, cancel them out and then take again the same black eyeshadow and fill in the center of my lips. And this is going to make it look a little bit creepier. <laughs> I mean it's still Halloween after all. So then I took some brown eyeshadow again and decided to create this line down um, from my nose down to my chin. Alright, now to make it really creepy, contacts. I'm using white mesh contacts. And then the very last thing I did was create a line in um, a thinner kind of black line down my lip for extra creepiness. Thank you. 